into the session now. We've had one carp, which for this early on in the session, under these conditions, I'm quite pleased with. But the main thing is, is that we've put together a mixed bag of other fish. We've had two bream, a two or three big roach, and a number of decent perch. I just want to talk to you about the way I'm striking. Because I'm fishing with worms, I'm fishing probably about three inches over depth, just to give myself a little bit more stability in the rig. With corn and meat, you can fish dead depth because the bait's a lot, lot heavier. With worm, I just like to fish that little bit over depth. And I'm, because of that, I'm striking straight up and reasonably hard. Because of the grey hydroelastic, if I do hook the smaller fish, I've got a fair bit of give and can play them and get them in. Like I say, we're into the session now. We might only have one carp. Hopefully we'll hook some more. But this is where worms comes into its own, is that we've got already well in excess of double figures of silverfish, which is the point I was trying to get across at the start, that on these colder days when the corners aren't producing massive weights, by fishing with worms on the hook, you end up with a much bigger weight than if you pu purely just target carp with selective baits like meat, corn and pellet.